Oh, hello guys. Quick little video about this Toshiba TV and a failing backlight. So here we have it, pictures of sound continuous. So that's um, either LED driver or backlight problem. This is the LED driver board. There are two outputs here, or two flat cables. And four chips on it, and we're gonna measure each output, the voltage at, e at each output, to see if there's any uh, different, uh, any difference in between them. And they look all the same, except for one of them. And it's this one. Voltage that didn't go to zero on the other outputs on this particular output. It goes to zero. So my guess is there's an internal uh, MOSFET switch and uh, sen uh, current sensing resistor. And if the voltage does go to zero that means there's no current through this branch so there's no voltage drop on the R sense resistor that's what I think so this is why it goes to zero so you can just invert these two flat cables and see if the um, if the error uh, error voltage or if the different voltage if it follows in my case it did not follow so I really think it's the backlight here in this case uh, so we have to disassemble the whole thing uh, remove the front bezel unscrew this metal frame and lift up these two um, PCBs carefully to not damage these um, flat cables and after that you can lift up the glass put it aside next thing is here to uh, remove these um, plastic uh, the plastic frame that holds the, the the sheets underneath Then remove the uh, the sheets, these plastic sheets here. And now we have already access here to the uh, to the LEDs. You see these two flat cables going to the LED uh, strip. That's an edge lit TV. So we unscrew this LED strip and then carefully remove the the flat cable from the strip separate it from the strip now the LED strip has to be unscrewed and separated from the from this aluminum support this is the model number of one of them. The other one is TLEM2. And this, these are our LEDs in a 3014 package. And they all look uh, like they're overheated. And when I apply power to them, they seem to work, but then, uh, then there's one that um, has really 
it's obviously damaged it needs um, needs more current for the same brightness than the other LEDs so here we could replace the whole strip but I think this is really expensive it's not worth uh, for this TV that's not a smart TV this is the LED I removed the one that uh, was dimmer than the other ones and what I'm going to do is uh, replace all the LEDs which is much much cheaper but it's more work so from LI Express we look for a 3014 package backlight LED and just choose some some random one here so we look for the highest uh, color temperature if possible six th I, I bought six thousand K but it could be uh, could be higher too and takes forever to get them here from uh, China of course but it's very cheap this is the package we need 3014 so here we put some solder paste on the solder pads on the LED strip and only a small amount and after that place the LED on the solder pads and I'm heating them up here I'm heating up this strip on a hot plate takes a couple of seconds and the LED will position itself correctly on the solder pads it's slightly higher than the uh, the original ones but doesn't really matter so 20 27 volts are needed at least to um, to turn these 11 LEDs on that are in series there are 6 times 11 LEDs on this strip and the one we replaced it's slightly brighter and since all of the LEDs look like they're overheated I'm just going to replace all of them and then after that we test them it's clearly indicated on the strip there's one one uh, terminal or one uh, solder pad indicated V LED V LED and the other ones are N1 through 6 with about 27 volts 28 volts you can test them so this is the LED driver board with uh, two output connectors and four driver chips each driver chip is supplying three three times eleven LEDs so the outputs are here and I marked them here with the uh, red lines the, the outputs to the LEDs one two three and they put it's actually an eight uh, eight channel driver two of them are not used and the other uh, six there are two of them in parallel and then we have the output here the uh, that's that, that's an input sorry um, with 20k 100k and 430k in parallel this determines the current to the LEDs 
So I replaced this uh, resistor here, the 0 ohm resistor, with uh, 1 ohm to be able to measure the output current and it's 120 milliamps for two channels so that's 60 milliamps for one channel for one uh, output channel of this driver and they put two in parallel and we will decrease this to uh, 40 amps per channel so that's 80 milliamps per that goes through the LEDs and for that I remove the 20k and the 100k and put a 24k kilo ohm resistor instead and here we see it's 80 milliamps for the LEDs yeah that's it guys uh, good luck with your repair and see you soon